Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and open up this package. Now this is something really cool. I'm going to be using it hopefully this year. A uh, decent amount hopefully. Uh, of course it's for fishing. So uh, let's open her up. Screwdriver is one of the best tools to do unboxings with. Nice. Let's right through it. So much better than a knife. As you guys can see here. Working phenomenal. Highly recommend using a, a screwdriver for unboxing everything. So much better than a, anything else. Then once you get through good enough, just tear it open. There we go. Here we go. We got a ton of bubble wrap. We're going to be using this to ship out a bunch of stuff. There's the unboxing. Just kidding. You guys can read that. I just gave you an idea what of what it is. Here we go. Let's get this out of the way. Um. So, if you guys didn't read that correctly, this is a kayak cart. So I can. Attach my kayak to the top of this, set it on top, and pull it around. And there's these wheels. So really heavy duty, actually. Um, I can, like, pull it around on my bike. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I came with a little strap. I'm probably going to replace that. I've heard uh, you probably want to. So here's the entire thing. I'm not sure how exactly it goes. I think... I think this is basically how it goes. I'm making a... Uh, Stick the wheels on. Stick that through there. there we go. I guess that stays on pretty good, hopefully. We got the next one. These things are really cool. These clips, they just fold out and pull out. But they're magnetic, so I don't think they'll come undone anyway. These tires seem like really good, actually. I'm surprised. Now, I heard that they do smell, so this will stay outside, most likely. There we go. Wow, that's really cool. And so, there it is. So, um, then there's a stand here. You see that, uh, these two things that I'm holding up. That, uh, once it's unfolded, I can, uh, put that stand out. And it, it'll stay setting upright without my kayak like digging into the dirt or anything. I think they can actually fold out right now. If I'm yes. So see, fold it out. It'll just set on the ground. I'll give you guys a better shot of this in a second. And this strap, you just strap it from uh, your kayak sitting on here. You can strap it from here all the way around your kayak and connect to the other side. But well, I've heard this strap doesn't do good, like I said. So. Uh, I'm gonna replace it with a, a really good one, like one of those uh, really strong straps for kayak, for strapping like something to the top of your car. Uh, so, man, that looks really good. Pretty heavy. I'm gonna air out these tires. They're pretty low actually, but uh, got some pretty soft padding. You can see there, uh, inch, inch, inch and a half thick, th uh, an inch to an inch and a half thick. So your kayak will not get it banged up by any metal. You can uh, spread them out here if you want to. If your kayak's like flat, or you put them in if your kayak is like uh, goes down and out, so that it sets right on that. Out here, if the kayak goes down, it'll hit the metal. You can move them in. But if it's flat, that just could hit that. As you can see there, mine's uh goes in, so I'm probably gonna have it pretty much like this pretty much how I'll be having it and then so like I said I'm just going to attach this to my bike tighten up these screws here these bolts I mean and uh this side off attach to my bike make myself a little hitch hopefully uh I'm hoping let me get down here so you guys can see me I'm hoping that this weekend uh, me and my dad uh I'm pretty sure he, me and him are gonna uh, Put a hitch on my bike, attach to the seat, go out and then down. And then so I can tie 
my kayak to the hitch, and then this thing will be at, like, toward the back of my kayak, and then probably two-thirds of the way back, and I can go, uh, go to the lake with the kayak. And to get to the lake, though, I have to ride down a steep hill and through a trail in the woods, which is pretty bumpy. So, uh, it's going to be kind of challenging, let's say, to uh, get home from the lake, because the whole way, except for maybe a tenth of it, is downhill. So, on the way home, it's going to be nine tenths uphill, which is going to be pretty tough, but now I don't have to carry uh, my backpack on my back or fishing rods sticking out of the backpack. It's all going to be in the kayak. By the way, guys, when I'm kayak fishing, I'm not going to wear the backpack. I have another uh, tackle bag about this big by this big or something like that. Probably 18 by 12 inches or so. by 18 by 12 by 12. So 12 deep, 12 wide, 18 long. And uh, I'm going to use that for kayak fishing just because it, uh, it's smaller and it fit better. Now, this kayak is only 8 feet, but it's pretty wide. Uh, you guys might have seen it. If not, I'll show you a video later this year probably. Uh, anyway, 35 bucks on Amazon free shipping so they're about 20 I've seen them as low as 28 on eBay free shipping but that take probably I think that was gonna take like two months to get here wow. um and uh I just wanted it now I or I think we ordered this Friday so pretty quick plus this thing folds up pretty small I can take those tires off and make it even smaller stick it right in the front of my kayak awesome so that's it guys, I'll put the link to this in the description below if you guys want to go check it out. Uh, came with this strap, like I said, you could probably use this strap, but however, I'm going to be using a better one, maybe a couple bungee cords as well. So, uh, oh, it shows me assembly, it shows you assembly, use, and care, and warnings. See that there? It'll probably come if you get one of these, come with it. Uh, I didn't really read for assembly, but I will. All right, so I think you could tighten up the actually you could tighten up these nuts and it cl uh, condenses a spring, which makes it really tight. I think. Anyways, uh, hope you guys like this video. Um, please tell me you guys want to see more unboxings if we get more stuff. And uh, see you guys next.